Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. The reason I'm here today is because I'm having some major, 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 major weight issues. Now I am the original, when I say original, I'm the original yo-yo dieter and my weight goes up and down, up and down all the time. And I'm sure there's many other people who um, suffer from this and it is suffering to be fair, because one minute I can fit these clothes, the next minute I can't fit these clothes. Now when it comes to dieting, I have done every diet in the book. I have done the Atkins diet, I've done eat right for your blood type, I've done um, fit for life, I've done the South Beach diet, I've done Weight Watchers, Slimming World, Master Cleanse, which was the lemonade diet. And that was the worst diet that I have ever done. Because when it comes to that diet, uh, 15 days, I had nil by mouth. The only thing I consumed at that time was this lemonade, maple syrup, and cayenne pepper concoction. Um, which, by the end of the 15 days, I felt like I was absolutely starving. And when they said, you know, that I had to drink orange juice for another two days and then soup after that. You know, I can remember actually eating food and obviously I couldn't swallow it. I had to chew it and just get rid of it, spit it out. Um, because I just needed to feel food in my mouth. But, you know, I did the soup and I did everything else, but that diet was no good. So I guess if I was to talk about dieting, you name them, I have done them, yeah? And not just done them, I understand each diet inside out because I really did study and read the literature and I read the book so I understand how the body works and how each diet uh, brings, brings down your weight, yeah? And the process. And you know what? The funny thing is, or I should say the good news is, that I lost weight on all of them. I lost weight and a considerable amount of weight on each one of these diets. So they did work. I'm not gonna say that they don't work, they do work, you know? So the problem that I was having is that each time I lost the weight and after stopping the diet, once I reached my, my, my actual goal uh, that I wanted to get to, I would get even bigger than I was before. Now, how does that work? Hmm. I would get bigger than I was before I started the diet. So let's start from the first diet, okay? The first one, I was size 10. <coughs> and my older sister thought it was advisable to give me slimming pills. So fine, I took the slimming pills and I went down to a size 8. Now why I would have wanted to get down to a size 8 from a size 10, I don't know. Because when I look at my pictures back then, I was slim. I was slim. I could see the bones of my chest, so I don't even know why I thought I was fat. But anyway, that's how it started, yeah? So I went down to a size 10 with the slimming pills and then after that, I increased to a size 12. So I was a size 10, went down to a size 8, now I've increased to a size 12. And then I went on to the Atkins diet. And I did the 14 days, and you know, in the 14 days, I remember I lost a stone almost immediately. And I went down to a size 10 again. And then a year after the Atkins diet, I ballooned to a size 14. Yeah, so started at 10, now I'm at size 14. When I did the master cleanse, yeah, I actually almost exploded and I quadrupled in size to a size 18, borderline size 20, okay? That was the biggest I have ever been. Believe you me, that's the biggest I've ever been. So now, I think I'm about size 18. 16 so I have lost a little bit of weight now but I still I'm a size 16 which I'm not really happy with okay 
And I want you to bear in mind that when I was doing all these diets, I wasn't just dieting, you know, I have been going to the gym, you know, four to five times a week, all of those years. So four to five times a week, I was still going to the gym, working out four to five times a week. Okay. Um, and still, after doing these diets, I would still quadruple in weight. So, you know, there is something that doesn't add up here. I've now come to the conclusion that after all, you know what, one of the reasons I think I, I put on weight as well after the diets is because a lot of the time when I'm eating these foods, it's not foods that I really, really like. So, you know, you will eat these foods and, you know, I feel like I'm not really enjoying what I'm eating. You know, I've also been a veg, but I also want you to know, I've been a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for about three years. Then I went into being a vegan also. I'm vegan and vegetarian is so nice and it's so healthy, but I believe you me, you know, vegetables, 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 and more vegetables, vegetable curry, vegetable and rice, vegetable and vegetables, vegetables and more vegetables. Just wasn't working out for me. Yeah, so I think one of the reasons that this can happen or one of the reasons why I maybe put back on the weight is because I just wasn't enjoying the food and then when you don't enjoy the food for so long then you, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I would binge on the things that I was craving or wanting or longing for all that time. So anyway, I've come to the conclusion that dieting makes me fat doesn't make me thin well it does for a short amount of time but in the long run it makes me fat it makes me fatter okay so this time i want to do something different i want to chuck the word dieting out of the window because dieting to me equals starving dying to eat yeah dying to eat i don't want to die to eat i just want to eat okay and i want to eat and lose weight hopefully now i can't go to the gym anymore because um i have an injury basically uh, I got an injury in 2010 and doctor when I went to doctors and they did the x-rays and whatnot they've told me that I well the doctor said to me I can't go to the gym again I don't know if I'm going to accept that but that's what he told me he said I shouldn't go to the gym anymore um, because my arches have collapsed from all of the exercises that I was doing over the, those years um, and some days I'll be honest with you can be so painful my ankle my leg that I can't walk on it um, it's improved because they've, I've got a special insert that's made specially for my feet and it goes inside my shoes which means that sometimes I have to wear some really awful, well not awful, I just have to wear boots and I can't, I'd like to wear high heel shoes at some time and they've told me that I can't do that either but I ain't listening to that. Um, the only exercise that I've been told that I can do now is walking, which... I have been doing and swimming. Swimming I can't really do because I can only swim if my feet can touch the bottom. So that's if my feet can touch the ground, I can swim. So to me that's not really swimming because it means that I have to constantly be in shallow water um, because I, I have a fear, of some sort of fear of deep water. Something happened when I was a child. So, um, I just have a fear of deep water and I also hate the cold water in the pool um, and the chlorine because when I get into the chlorine it kind of makes my skin itch, makes my eyes very red and um, it always has done even when we used to go to school when we were children. I, I'm not really a fan of the chlorine in the water. So swimming is kind of out of the window for me. Um, I did buy a bike. And I had it for three weeks and I was riding it and somebody stole it outside the shop after three weeks. So that's out the window. 
until I get a new bike. Now, I'm not going to be doing dieting, yeah? I'm just going to eat healthily. And eating healthily means I'm going to eat and enjoy what I eat food and enjoy it. But I'm still going to lose weight. Yes, I'm going to eat the foods I enjoy and I'm still going to lose weight. But when I say eat the foods I enjoy, I'm not really, I don't really eat unhealthy anyway. Actually, I have been lately. I've been eating unhealthy lately. Um, but usually I don't eat unhealthy. I eat quite healthily. At least I think so. And if I think about all the books and health books that I've read, I think I eat healthily, but I just haven't been eating healthily lately. I've been eating things that I don't normally eat. Um, but I will get rid of those. Um, I intend to lose weight this time under all your watchful eyes. So I know that I'm definitely going to do this because if I don't, you know, I know that if I do this on my own, This, not that I won't be motivated, no, because I, I do feel quite motivated, but I think I'll be more motivated if, you know, I just got, I feel like people are doing it with me, okay? Um, and I hope that I will give you some tips, you know, and if you have some tips that you can give me, I would really appreciate it because I want to be like, slim, slim. Slim. I don't want to be fat, 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 fat. Okay, because I'm one of these people that weight doesn't suit. Some people can be, some people can, some girls, you know, I see some girls, they may be a bit chubby, and those girls are beautiful. It suits them. You know, even their body shape, it just suits them. You can see the curves there and they're voluptuous and, and those girls, they're, they're nice, they're nice. But me, the minute I put, when I'm slim, I have friends that will never compliment me when I'm slim and I look nice. Um, I've, when I'm slim, even my sisters, they won't compliment me, but they want to know what I'm doing. They want to know what gym I'm going to and I take them and everything else. But you know what, when I put on the weight, I'm one of these people that people always comment on it. They comment on it. Mm. You're too fat. You're fat. This is what they say to me. Gosh, you've got so much weight in your face. Why don't you lose weight? You're so fat. Girl, you don't look good no more. You're fat. Where's your beauty gone? You're fat. Well, I don't want to be fat anymore. I don't want to be... I want to be comfortable. I'm not saying that being big is an issue. Like I said, it suits some people, but it just doesn't suit me. Okay? So I want to get rid of it. So I'm inviting whoever wants to follow me on this journey because I am going to lose it but this time I am going to lose it for good and I'm going to work out and look at ways because I understand how to lose weight believe you me I understand I have read these books so I understand how to lose weight I understand nutrition I understand what's good for you what's bad for you what does this what I understand I understand but I want to use all of those things, put it together, and lose weight for good. For good. So please, if you'd like to, follow me. And um, let's see what happens. But I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. Starting from tomorrow. Okay, so that's it. Bye.